Welcome to CC Rock, your direct line to the world of hard rock and heavy metal in the Bay Area. I'm Metal Matt, and once again, we're back at the edge in Palo Alto, our favorite site for shooting CC Rock. We were here about three months ago with Dawkin, great band. I'll tell you what, tonight, we've got from New York City, Blue Oyster Colt playing all the hits. Now, Blue Oyster Colt emerged in the early 70s, along with Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath, of course, they were from Europe. But as far as the New York scene, Blue Oyster Colt was the band, and these guys are hot. So when we return, some hot rockin' on CC Rock. Don't go away. I've seen what drugs can do to people. If it doesn't kill you, it'll kill your soul. Drugs are nowhere, and I'm talking from experience. I've probably been through everything, done everything, took everything, and I can sure tell you that drugs are nowhere to go. Don't lose your friends. Don't lose yourself. Don't be a fool. It's no way to rock. My several needs are covered since grandma passed away. A long time since there's been trouble, that's what the people say. I told the new man when I saw the father day. When the wind turns and blows the leaves from a tree. I hear some Pablo noises And I don't go out All at night Since Pablo's youngest daughter Disappeared from sex I'm gonna find her someday And find the mom that lives After the thaw in springtime The snow melts away See the days go shorter And I feel the nights go cold Young people feeling restless Old people feeling restless Welcome back to CC Rock, and like I promised, we are here with Blue Oyster Colt founding members Eric Bloom and Buck Dharma. How are you guys doing? Excellent. We, well, we love this part of the country. Well, you know, that's what I was going to ask you, because you guys have, you know, you played the Pavilion a couple years ago, the Summer Days Tour, and you're recently back in Concord, which is actually where this show originates from, over the Cadillac Ranch. Do you guys have anything special about the barrier, or what's going on? Uh, we're hoping to be here for the next big one. The big, really? Well, that would be cool. Yeah, we, want, we like that energy from the earth, you know? Well, that's, that's cool because, you know, this is, there's a lot of hills around here and we like to, you know, think about nature a lot also. I'm very environmentalist myself. But um, your new album, Heaven Forbid, I mean, this is the first album in 10 years. Great album, worth the wait, and it's on CMC International, a great label that's brought back a lot of these groups that I've been dying to hear for years. What do you think about the new album? Well, it's, uh, it's been out a while. It's done very, very well um, all over the States, all over the world. Um, it's actually done real good in Europe, and uh, we're very happy with it. Yep, we like it a lot. this question there's this beautiful blonde haired girl on the inside it looks like Morgan Fairchild I said is that Morgan 
Who, who, what, what's the story behind this girl? <laughs> oh, that's a deep, dark secret yeah. who that is. Yeah, she exists, but we can't tell you who it is. You can't tell me who she is. Okay, well, maybe you could help enlighten a lot of fans out there who follow Bush Colt. Where did the name come from? Oh, the name actually came from uh, our original manager who wrote a lot of our lyrics, Sandy Perlman. He wrote uh, lyrics to such songs as uh, ETI and uh, lots of our songs. And uh, Cities on Flame were rock and roll. And uh, we needed a name for the band, and we couldn't agree because we were a democratic band, and we just said, you pick it. And uh, he had written this um, epic poem called Imaginos in the late 60s, and Blue Oyster Cult was part of that poetry. Poison's in my heart and in my mind. Poison's in my bloodstream. Poison's in my pride. And transformations that were too hard to find Poisons in my bloodstream Poisons in my pride I'm after rebellion I'll settle for life I'll settle for lies Yes, I know to imagine us which is something an album I really like a lot it was at a stage in your career that I found that was very weird because I mean you had came with this great album very conceptual idea uh, and all of a sudden it's the last time you guys did in 10 years I mean it was the, was the music changed at that time or is it just you know what, what happened do you have any idea well, uh, that's, we, we, you don't have enough time for the answers to that question. Um, you know, we did the Imaginos record, um, and then uh, CBS really did not push the uh, promotional area of that record, and they dropped us from the label, and we spent the next five, six years regrouping and trying to get a new deal. So, um, it was like early 90s before any other label was interested again. And uh, we had to do a little, lot of arm twisting, a lot of songwriting to get labels interested in us. They figured, you know, we're just a bunch of old guys who didn't have anything to say anymore. But uh, I think heaven forbid speaks for itself. It's got a lot of uh, good tunes on it. Great tracks. I mean, especially you brought back In Thee, which was Alan Lanier's, uh, I guess, big, uh, big song that he produced. Maybe I'll see you again, baby. Maybe I won't. Maybe you bought your 
take it down back to Detroit Airplanes make strangers of us all Give us sisters much easier Gypsies and destinies should not be delivered but you and I see now, baby, the still they are. Winning it makes losers of us all. Cause the dice roll so indifferently. So I wrap myself in cities I travel. I wrap myself in dreams. I wrap myself in solitude, but I wish I could wrap myself in me. I came from California and moved to New York and decided that I was going to be a model. You know, I wanted to be famous. I wanted to go around the world. The first time I did dope was in Italy. I started uh, shooting it in the States. My life became so um, insane. You know, it was, it was no life at the end. It was just pain. So call TCI Cable and demand your CC Rock. Of the crisis and the origin of storms 
I noticed on the credits, there's only one song that you actually helped write on, is that correct? I don't even know what's on there. On Imaginos? Yeah, it was really strange. I mean, you, you, you guys are the, you know, the, the anchor of this whole well, thing. it didn't start off, it's, I told you it was a long story. Yeah. It did not start off as yeah, a Blue Imaginos Oyster really record. should have come out in 1982. Really? Yeah, yeah. San, Sandy Perlman, our manager, who wrote all the lyrics, uh, got together with our ex-drummer, Albert Bouchard, to create that album. And after working three, four years on it nonstop, um, CBS was not interested in putting it out, so uh, they asked Buck and I to step in and to finish the record and then put it out as a BOC record. Well, that brings me to a good question, is that you've got two new guys, in a sense, in the band. The Bouchard brothers are no longer with Blister Colt. W what are they doing nowadays? You know? uh, they're both school teachers. Really? Interesting. And Bobby Randolini is filling in very nicely, as I, I heard last show. Uh, Bobby's, Bobby randonelli has been in the band uh, about two years, Danny Miranda about three years, and uh, it's the best the band's ever been. They're, these guys just rock. Could it possibly be? Is it uh, an Oakland Raider? A San Francisco Giant?
Websites it says on tour forever, and I gotta admit, you guys of all the bands I've seen, you guys keep coming back and forth. I mean, it, it's great because you know, a lot of bands they'll go out there and they'll tour maybe, you know, once every two, three years. But you guys are out there. I like it. Yeah, I think BB King actually works harder than we do, but uh, you know, we do work pretty hard. I mean, 120 dates, maybe more a year. I mean, how do you guys keep the tightness and playing the, the same songs? I mean, over night after night. Does it ever get old sometimes, or no? Well, we try to change the yeah, set. We, we we switch them up. You know, we got such a, a vast repertoire that we can actually play a lot of different stuff. I was talking with one of your guitar techs before the show, and I said, is there a song list from the show tonight's show? Because we're going to shoot a little footage. And he says, well, you know what? There isn't a song list because they just go out and do it. And it's like, you know, a lot of it's memory, a lot of it's talking on stage. And that's very unique in bands because you'll go out and see a lot of bands, and they'll, they'll have a structured set that will be so vanilla. I mean, I, there's a lot of bands out there I don't want to name them, but they just do that. And I think it's really unique you guys do something special. What, was there a sprint reason, just fun? Well, basically, um, we have a framework of a set that we're going to play. I mean, we're going to play Godzilla, we're going to play the Reaper, that kind of thing. Thing. And, um, you know, we know how we're going to start the show. We know what's in the middle. And everything on all the sides of the middle, I can call, you know, and depends, you know, what I think. I get a vibe from the audience and try to change the show up a little bit.
She went to the star. 